For today's five minute makeup tutorial, we're gonna create this quick and easy smoky liner look. This is part of a series where I created three different looks using all of the same products, but with different placement. All you're gonna need is liner. This can be gel or pencil in any deep shade you want. Next, you're gonna need a shadow that works with the liner. So I picked brown and brown eyeshadow. And finally, you're gonna need a shadow at least one shade lighter and one shade darker. This is gonna be used to contour and highlight your eye shape. This is gonna be super easy and super quick, so let's get started. As with every look that we create, you wanna start off with a good base. Now for dry skin like me, I use just a matte concealer. This creates a smooth base. It gives the eyeshadow something to hold on to. but for oilier lids, you want to use an eyeshadow primer just to prevent those oils from breaking down the eye makeup. And then for mature lids, a little bit of both can actually go a long way. A lot of primers can weigh down the lid, so a sheer layer even using a damp sponge to apply it will be great for mature skin. But I do have an entire video talking about how to work on mature skin if you wanna check that out after this one. Then you wanna take a shadow at least one shade lighter than your skin tone, this should be matte, and use this to brighten underneath the brows. This is gonna give us that nice lifted brow appearance. Then you're gonna bring your brush slowly down so it gets into the crease and then just slightly onto the lid, just using whatever's left over on the brush. This will just create a smooth texture for us to work over, but also set the primer in place as well. The next eyeshadow should be at least one shade darker than your skin tone. So think of your contour and your bronzer as long as they're matte. In the same way that they shape and frame your face, this is gonna shape and frame your eyes. Take your favorite blending brush, and I'm gonna be using this one. What I love about this is I can use it horizontally, but also vertically. It's great for blending. And I'm gonna be holding this in the middle of the brush handle. This is just gonna give me a lot more movement, but still control. And we're gonna start by sweeping this into the crease of the eye. What I would recommend doing is keeping your eyes open and just hitting where the eye shape is creasing. So right where the lid is creasing into the eye shape, you wanna go right in there and slightly higher. Now don't worry about blending it up or down too much right now, because if you're using a brush like this, once you actually apply into the crease, you can then turn the brush on its side. And what this is gonna do is sweep it up and down for us. That's why I love this brush so much. Just remember, we don't wanna blend this up too high. We still wanna leave a little highlight under the brows. Next, I'm gonna take the gel liner and I'm using the brown shade. You can use any shade that you want. And I'm applying this with an angled brush. Now, what I like to do when I'm using an angled brush is I start in the middle, but I always make sure that the pointed angle is to the outer edge, bringing it to the middle. And then when I do the inner corner, I flip it around to get to the inner corner and blend it to the middle again. I always like to make sure I'm not doing one solid line from the inner corner to the outer corner. It's just a really easy way to apply your liner if you have slightly shaky hands. Hands. I'm also going to apply the gel in between my lashes by taking my brush and pushing upwards, pushing this gel right in between the lashes. Now, if this is too ticklish for you, or maybe because you wear contact lenses, you're a little iffy about using gel, that's totally fine. You can definitely skip it. I just really like the way that this looks. It just adds a little bit more of a smoky look. For the next step, you want to grab that shadow that works with the liner. This can be any deep tone. If you use black, you don't necessarily have to use a black eyeshadow. You can use like a deep brown or a deep green or a deep purple, and you just apply this over the top, just as long as it works and has that same depth. It's also going to fill in any areas where the liner might not be very smooth, but it's also going to set it in place, which is great. You want to be using a stamping, pressing motion, very similar to how we applied the gel. You're basically doing the same thing, but using a powder to hold it in place. As this is more of a natural look, I'm gonna be using my favorite natural lashes, and this is my sixth time using them. And look how good the shape is. Now to finish the look, and this is optional, but I applied a nude liner on the lower waterline. What this is gonna do is create a contrast with the upper depth at the lash line. So we're just gonna have more of an open, but really defined eye. And then you can use whatever's left over on your liner brush and smudge this just in the center of the lower lash line. And then I just use my fingertips to sweep and blend this out. And that's the finished look. I really hope that you will try this one out. Super easy to recreate. I'd love to see it if you do recreate it. And let me know what shadows you like to use, what shades you like to use. And if you give it a go, I'd love to hear how it went. And as always, my friends, be kind to yourself, be kind to others, and I'll see you in the next one.